so I'm sitting here in the truck. Uh, we're actually in Amarillo, Texas, or near Amarillo, uh, right by Claude, Texas. I was thinking I was stuck out here in the middle of nowhere, but I found a ride service to come to get me. So she said she'd be here within an hour. Uh, lift isn't available out here. There's literally nothing out here if you look at Claude, Texas on the map uh, within a at 2 a.m. too, you know, probably during the day is, you know, it's up and running, but right now, no. Nah. Uh, so anyway, this is how the truck looks afterwards, you know. We we hit we hit the thing and everything bounced up. And we basically just went off the side of the road. Uh the only bad part about it was there was a concrete ditch right there. I mean they probably could have just towed us out of the grass, which was odd because I was thinking that as I was keeping the truck from tipping over, I was like, if I could save the load and uh, and not have the truck tip over, probably we could just drive up out of the grass. Uh, but anyway, we hit we hit it, we hit that concrete part, and uh, and it ripped the gas tank open and all the gas went into the grass. So, I mean, it could have been a lot worse. We could have, we could have immediately blew up when we hit that, uh, when we hit the, uh, that concrete. Shit, I'm sitting here, I can't even think. Uh, what is a concrete ditch thing? You know, the hole on the side of the ditch is concrete. And so, it, we could have blew up when we hit that, actually. So, I mean, it could have been worse. Uh, I looked up in the sky and it was actually a smile in the sky. Maybe I was tripping, but I took a picture of it. It looks like a smile. It really does. But you know, I believe in God. Maybe he was saying it could have been worse than, you know, I saved you, told you to get off the side of the road and you didn't. And I literally pulled over too. I had pulled over and was sitting there, but it was like, you know, a place where I couldn't keep the truck. So I was like, I can't park the truck here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get to the rest stop. I splashed some water in my face. Literally, if I had it on video, I was sitting there splashing water in my face. And, uh, see, so, you know, there's a bottle right here. I was splashing water in my face. I was like, I could make it to the little old truck stop right here. I mean, a uh, rest stop. Because there's a bunch of them out here, you know, and it's pretty easy. You just pull over and go use the restroom and do your thing, you know, and, uh, and that was it. It's just like they said it happens, you know, that, that little quick blink of a second, you know, because we were sitting at 80,000 pounds, you know, the trailer pulled us to the right. And it looks like the second, the second tow truck is here now. So I guess they're going to be towing in a minute, but the trailer pulled us to the right. And, it pulled us right into the grass. But, uh, anyway, I don't know what Stevens is going to tell me, but uh, I got a ticket for not staying in my lane, and the cop was telling me I was being nice because there was some damage done to the little concrete barrier. But I'm guessing uh, they could just clear the debris away from it, and it'll be all right. And so, you know, the grass will grow back, so it's not really anything major because nobody was hurt. But still, I was, you know, swerving because I was tired, so I'm guessing that was the ticket he gave me. So I got paid that online. I don't know how much that'll be. And it says I can actually uh, opt for a defensive driving class or something like that, and I'll take it off my record. But it's way out here in Amarillo. I don't know if they'll, if they'll let me take a class and then, email in the information or something like that. But uh we shall see. Uh they're putting their lights on. I guess they're getting ready to come out of here and check it out. They're probably gonna have to wait till in the morning when the ground dries up. Or either that or trying to figure out what they're gonna do with that load because the load is still good. But I don't think they even want that load because Somebody would have to come out here to get it by the time they do all that. They, they'll probably just uh, reject the load or whatever. I mean, it's way more money than this. I mean, this isn't anything big to them, but it's big to me. 
you know, uh, I tried my best. I got all my hours in. I was down to last alone 20 some hours, you know, which is two days of driving, 10 hours one day, 10 hours the next day. And that's what I was trying to get to. I had eight hours already. I had eight hours, but I was there. I was there, boy. Say, so, can't say I ain't tried, though, you know. Sometimes things happen, and it always seems like the worst. It could have been worse, you know. I could have had uh, somebody could have swerved in front of me or something. They say don't drive at night. This is the time this shit happens. And sure enough, you know, my, my trainer's like, you know, you, you're going to get the night shift. You know, the whole time I'm thinking, you know, I'm training, you know, I'm sitting here fatigued and shit and driving at night. I'm not supposed to be doing any of this shit. But he's supposed to be the one, you know, using discretion. But, you know, it's it's both of our faults because even though he's using trainer discretion and all that, he's been doing it, what do you say, 10 years, 20 years, whatever. You know, I'm supposed to be the one saying, you know, I still am tired. I was tired too. But, you know, once you get real tired, then it's the, yeah, here they come and go and get off this thing.